for joining me today. Today I'm going to share with you uh, the grab, how to grab uh, in Oculus Quest. Okay, so basically all you need to do is to implement uh, some, you know, some um, script inside Unity uh, on both grabable object, which is the object you want to grab and also implement something on your player controller and you can create something like this, right? Um, this is called distant grab. So pretty much you applied a grabber, distant grabber on your hands and also distant grabable on the object you want to grab. Uh, and also you need to create a trigger that around your player so, um, you know, distance grabber, right? It has a distance. So you need to define that distance uh, as, a, as, as a trigger for, uh, for, for the object that within that range that can be grabbed. So if you see those are some, um, some testing um, tutorials that I made uh, just to make sure everything works. Okay, and uh, please download Oculus Integration Unity plugin. And uh, if you go um, one of the scenes, um, ha like the framework has this uh, types of um, very easy to implement distant grab and also locomotion. So if you can get the scene, and start play around it, you can get a lot of really cool effects such as using the UI um, and also grab stuff, right? And the interesting thing is that when you and when the ray shooting the object, it will turn uh, white. And when you uh, push the grab button, it will turn blue. So this is kind of like the, the game mechanics for this Play, distant player controller. So yeah, so this is something that we are going to cover today. And then, yeah, so let's start. So first, uh, first remember to download Oculus integration. If you haven't downloaded, uh, please download it so you can get a lot of really cool package content. The package content, I would say inside um, sample framework, you can get a lot of really cool scenes such as distant grab. Yeah, so today we are going to, uh, you, you need to download this plugin and we are going to use all the stuff from the plugin and make a no code uh, grabable, uh, gr grabber scene. Okay, so let's start. I would do is to put this somewhere. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's take a look. So if you uh, get the GitHub file, you can go to scene, right? And I've already um, make folders for each different tutorials. The previous one was was the movement. Uh, the first one will be set up. So if you follow the tutorial, you can see the first one will be set up. The second one will teach you how to move around the, the VR scene. And then grab will be more advanced after you know how to set up, after you know how to move around, then this is, I would say, more intermediate level. So if you don't know how to set up, please go back to watch the previous tutorial. Or if you don't know how to move around inside uh, VR space, please go back to see the previous episode. Today, we will cover more about grab. Okay, so let's take a look. If you go here, um, by the way, if you download, after you download Oculus integration plugin, you will get this thing you will get this folder inside your assets. So how to get this scene? This scene, I pretty much rename it, but if you want to get this scene, 
go to search. You need to you need to download the Oculus integration first. So you got the asset. Okay, so it's called distant grab scene. Yeah, so this is the distant grab scene. Okay, so if you type distant grab after you download the o Oculus integration plugin on Unity, you go to you, you type distant grab and you open this scene. And this scene will be exact same as um, the, the 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 one that we saw. So pretty much um, there is a player controller if you see this player controller, right? And if you see everything, I made a prefab and rename it to distant grab player controller. Why? Because I want to reuse it. This is very, very um, good asset because it you can not only move around, but also you can shoot a ray to interact with the UI. And also you can, you know, grab the object, distant grab object. And uh, I would say this is perfect for a lot of um, preset, right? And it's very useful because a lot of, for example, like if you do the Oculus default player controller, you probably need to implement the hand on your own, right? And also you, if you want to do avatar or you know some other stuff, you have to implement. But I think if you open this scene, you can pretty much make this a prefab. The next time you can just grab in and it has the you know um, grab function so i would say this one is a really good one so far that i consider to be very useful okay so um, let's take a look okay so if you see this one this one i previously i show you this one so if you um, go go to build a scene inside your oculus headset pretty much you will see this so your your hands right it's you use your controller to to do your hands so pretty much you you, you hit the grab button and uh, there will be an invisible ray to shoot up and uh, if the object is being detected it will has the a thick white border if you can take a look a thick white border and then once you really like it you, you are ready to get it and it will turn blue right and it also has the local motion and also it has the avatar attach it and also it has the ui interaction so this player controller i would say it's amazing because i play around a lot of uh, framework scene, I find out this one is probably the, the most useful. Okay, so let's dive in. So in this frame, by the way, this one is from the download that we, um, like Oculus integration download, you need to download this package and type distance grab and you get this scene. And this one, I would say, you know, you, you, if you really like it, you, you drag it to prefab, right? Player controller. But I I make it I it's the same thing. I just add distance grab player controller because I don't wanna mess up with other controller. Right? Okay, so pretty much distance grab player controller is the same as player controller. Okay, so let's take a look of what's inside. So inside it has the OVR camera rig. What does that mean? Okay, so if you get in right so it means like there is a camera camera means your eyes right um yeah so for example like you see things through your eyes so same as camera rig so uh inside camera rig you can see there is a left eye right if you see this this is left eye center eye and right eye what's what does this mean? It means that if you want to, you know, usually we use the center eye anchor because we want to be more center, but there are some different options for you to, you know, choose um, the anchor point for, uh, for your eyes. 
Okay, so after this, you can see the left hand anchor, right? You can see the left hand and right hand anchor. So what does this mean? This means that this is the position. You see, this is a position, transform position for your left hand. This is the right hand anchor, right? So inside this, you can put a uh, left controller anchor, right? There, there's a left controller anchor, uh, right controller anchor. So you can place con either controller or hands under it, right? So under it, um, inside this default scene, it has distance, grab, hand, left. If you type it, this turn grab okay so this turn grab hand left pretty much it's the same thing this turn grab hand left so if you want to do it on your own you can you know you can do it right but i i just delete it okay so you, you this is the prefab that inside oculus it has if you want to dive in you can see it has uh, the hand script. Hand script pretty much handle the hands. So you need to, if you kind of put put the distance grab hands on your own, you need to go here and see which controller you want, right? Okay, so touch means the controller. Okay, so this is the left controller because it's the distance grab hand left. So you need to put the left controller. Okay, so and in the meter, you need to go here. Yeah, uh, you, you, you need to import the Oculus integration plugin before anything, because all those are inside Oculus integration plugin. So when you click, you know, the, 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 the target like icon, and then you can see the L, left hand scholar lowers which means that this is a left hand animation. You need an animator, so uh, it will trigger uh, the animation. But I would say the animation is really simple. It's just the four fingers, um, you know, like get in and get out, or, or, you know, it's just like grab animation. There are not many, you know, customized animations, but, but it's enough for us to understand, you know, um, if it is, uh, open the hand or grab something so yeah and then default grab pose so uh, you need to go to I, I think already if you kind of uh, get from the other scene or if you grab from this scene the default had already has the script called hand pose default pf if you don't have you have to resync it again because sometimes files will not arrange according to the default. So if this is the case, you have to implement on your own. Sometimes file will missing for, for, for any reasons, right? So just in case you kind of like when you open the scene first and you couldn't find any of the stuff being implemented and you can, you know, look at this tutorial and then implement accordingly. Okay, so this is a hand. Okay, before the hand, you will get transform rigid body. Okay, you have to have rigid body so you can, you know, start grabbing things. Okay, OVR grabber. OVR grabber and distant grabber. The difference is that um, I would say OVR grabber is the very close to grab. And distance grabber, it has a distance. For example, like within one meter, anything if my hand ends it i grab I, I put the grab button i can grab but for ovr grabber you need to be within that or you need to be really really close to the the object or even just you know your hand is inside that trigger you know so i would say ovr grabber is super close that your hand just like almost around your hand reach and your hand need to trigger the 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 trigger collider in inside that object but as for distance grabber <clears throat> all you need to do is to you know um 
for example, like within one meter around me or within two meters、uh, radius around me, everything inside this radius will be grabbed by me if it has the grabbable, distant grabbable、um, uh, script attached, and the layer is set to grabbable. You need to later on. You, I will tell you how to you know add a new layers. Okay, so. Grab begin, yeah. So, and then grab transformation, grip,、uh, grip transformation. You need to do grip trans. Okay, so here is this one, right? So you can lock it, and then,、uh, yeah. So you go here, right? Grip trans is here, and then L, yeah. So this is the left、uh, controller. And parent is here. This is the parent, right? This is the parent. So you need to put this as a parent, right? I don't want to mess up. Okay. And then, okay. So player, you need to grab this entire player controller to this player controller. So this is the entire player controller. And then Sophia cast.